Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are along the Oregon coast and we're about to be going to something I have been wanting to go to for the past three years. Now when I was in Oregon the last time I saw something called the sea lion caves but I didn't make it all the way down here. So today you are coming along with me for something that's on my bucket list. We're going to go check out this awesome place and uh, find out what's up with it. Okay guys, so we came in and admission for adults is $16. It's of course a little bit less for children. And uh, I, I have a friend with me today. You might recognize this person behind me. Look, 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 look. Hey, what's up? It's Riley. <laughs> so we are traveling the vast majority of the summertime together in the Oregon and Washington area. So we both had this on our list of places that we wanted to go. And so today is like a bucket list check for both of us. And already I am super excited. Now today we're going to be able to see over a hundred of the sea lions that have come into the cave and then also are on kind of like the overlook area and there are two different paths so if you come out of the visitor center and you kind of go over toward the right that's where you get to the elevator and if you go to the left that's where the overlook is so we're going to take in both of these don't know which one that we want to go to yet uh, I'm just super excited Riley 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 mm -hmm. I'm so excited! Oh yeah, so here we go. Okay, before we go too far along though, we want to talk about some of the history here and you can see along this sign that there are some of the historic photos of the sea lion cave area. It's really, really neat. And it says here that there is actually a natural grotto that filled with sea lions and it was discovered by a local seaman, William Cox, in 1880. Seven years later, he brought the land from the state of Oregon and ownership has shifted several times throughout the years, but finally it became a part of the public access. This is what the original sea lion caves looked like right here. You can see the little building with the parking this is very similar to what we just came through actually and this is really neat now anytime that we come out to places like this it's always pretty interesting because you get to see the animals in their natural habitat but at a safe distance so that we're not interacting with them because sea lions can be quite nasty little critters if you get too close and invade their space so we're going to not do that we're going to safely observe them from that distance and uh, I think we're gonna go down to the overlook first and then go back back in this direction to go to the cave itself. I'm so excited. I saw some sea lions when I was in Astoria last time that were just kind of out in the wild barking away ar, 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 and it was just delightful. So um, to see this many of them, yeah, it's going to be amazing. As you can see, the fog is pretty thick today. In fact, whenever we were at the coast checking out things a little bit further up, we saw it rolling in. But when we got here, the visibility is extremely low right now. But it is still spectacular to see what looks like floating mountains in the distance. So I'm really interested to see how that's gonna translate into this lookout. Story of our lives. We're always filming something. Now I will say this, although this path is nice and wide and flat, it's also very steep to come down to the lookout. So it might not be one of those that you wanna come down here if you have a limited mobility issue. It's just gonna be kinda of hard because the hill, oh the hill, it's, it's quite harsh. In fact, I'm probably gonna be huffing and puffing on my way back up it in just a couple minutes.
my gosh, guys. This is one of the coolest things like ever. We aren't even actually at the lookout yet. We're just like standing here on this ledge and trying to film because um, we have this great view and you can hear them from up here. And they're just like, rawr, rawr, rawr. it's greatness. And then if you watch very carefully as the waves crash up and then go out, you'll see some of them just float up onto the rocks when the waves crash and then they float back out whenever they're wanting to get back in the water, whenever it goes out. <laughs> this is epic. Okay guys, let's go get a little bit closer. We're gonna go out to this overlook and see if we can see a little bit more. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Riley, what do you think? This is really an experience. <laughs> Definitely, now there is a slight whiff of um, stinky stink, but that's any time that you have sea lions around. It's to be expected. I didn't know that though. Um, it's really cool. You see them coming up onto the shore and then going back into the ocean. And then a while ago, what did you see? I saw, what did I see? A whole bunch of them. Oh yeah, a whole bunch of them <laughs> got swept out to sea and I pretended that they were having a conversation like, <laughs> swim faster and then I thought like do sea lions get seasick but <laughs> I mean these are questions that are very valid questions but it's super fun because this is one of the only places that you can come and have these different kinds of observation points now when we go into the cave in just a little bit um, we're going to have a very different experience than right here out by the ocean in the open the caves a lot of times are used for a refuge for sea lions so that they can get away from harsh storms and then also so they can kind of camp out in a place a little bit less exposed so that's gonna be super super fun but um, wow this is this is everything I wanted to see and so much more
Okay guys, it stinks really bad, but oh my gosh, this is amazing. So they have a six minute video here, and then over here there's the observation area where you can see into the cave. Now we are about 180 feet below the surface of where we started out, so um, here we go. Okay, after checking out that amazing view, we came up to this area, which is the lighthouse observation point. And um, I will say this, there's some bugs that are attacking me like hardcore in here. So if you're, you're squeamish of bugs or weird smells, maybe not the place for you, but there's so much cool information here. In fact, we just found out that the particular sea lions that we're seeing here actually come all the way from California and go all the way up toward Alaska. So these are the ones that you're gonna find all along the 101, the Oregon coast, the Washington coast, and the California coast, as well as in Canada. So that's super cool. But also, these sea lions go as far from Russia all the way down to Japan. So, so, so neat. Right here you're seeing the skeleton of approximately a three-year-old stellar female sea lion. And they found this particular sea lion with a fatal gunshot wound where it had been shot by someone, probably out at sea. But um, they found the skeleton intact, so that's what we're seeing here. Now this is actually pretty fascinating. It says here until 1961 when the elevator was put in, this was actually part of the natural entrance. So you'd have to come down a 1500 foot trail and then a 135 step staircase. Yeah, a lot different now. Now I will say the view here is pretty impressive, but also it is uh, pretty fly covered at this particular moment. Now on a clear day, you can see all the way over to the lighthouse that is just up the 101 just a bit, but today it's a little foggy for that. Riley, yeah. what was the sound that we heard today? It was some kind of weird howling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very different, that's for sure. But also something else that we noticed was um, the fighting. Yeah, they tussled a bunch. It was a bunch of tussling. Like, um, yeah, we won't be doing that. No, we will not. They also kind of looked like water slugs. It was kind of fascinating. Um, they were just like, pushing their way through from the ocean and because they don't really have feet that they can move on like we do, uh, it was quite interesting. I've seen them before, but never in this volume, so wow. But um, we're about to get in the elevator, go back to the top, 
get away from the flies and smell and um, go find a patch. Super excited about this because I definitely need to uh, have this moment, but Riley also wants to get some popcorn. Yeah, I they, hate the smell of popcorn. They have popcorn and fudge here, guys. Fudge. So uh, yeah, we're going to the top. Okay guys, that is it for here at the Sea Lion Cave. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. If you are in this area, definitely do it. I will say, a little steep to get down to the, some of those places and we definitely took more than a couple breaks because they have some nice little benches along the way, but oh, so, so cool. And they have some great information here that'll give you some brain wrinkles along the way also. Now remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. And checking things like this off your bucket list definitely is that. Until next time guys, bye.